Welcome to Monkey Desert. But before we start, please tell us about your comment in the comments section below. We like to hear about them. And hey, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel if you like to get similar videos like this. Some years ago you wouldn't have heard anything like a woman making it among the wealthiest in Ghana. However, there are some wonderful ladies who have broken so many untold records. These ladies have featured on our list of top 5 richest women in Ghana. In fact, these women are rubbing shoulders with some of the richest men in Ghana in terms of wealth. In that regards, we're going to show you the list of the top 5 richest women in Ghana and their net worth according to Forbes 2020. The parameters used in ranking include, the number and quality of companies they own, manage, the amount of share they control, the market value of their companies and other investments as well as their general net worth. Having said that, let's now take a look at the beautiful ladies that have featured on our list of the top 5 richest women in Ghana, and their net worth 2020. Number 5. Grace Amiong ranks the 5th richest woman in Ghana. She has an estimated net worth of $100 million which is sourced mainly from the cosmetic industry. Mrs Amiong who is the CEO of Forever Claire Group received her beauty education at Croydon College, London. She returned back to Ghana and started her own business with just $100. Now the Forever Group of companies includes a firm that supplies salon equipment and cosmetics. Forever Claire Skin Care, and a beauty clinic. The Forever Claire Group has eight branches in Ghana. Her products are also exported to other countries like Togo, Nigeria, Burkina Faso, Togo, Ivory Coast, Switzerland, and the United Kingdom. Number 4. Gifty Lamptey On the number fourth position of the richest women in Ghana is Mrs. Gifty Lamptey with an estimated net worth of $135 million. She is the CEO of Sidealco Group of Companies which includes Sidealco Construction and Roads Limited, Dell Estates Empire Concretes Limited and Dominion International Petroleum Limited. Additionally, she is serving on several boards such as Ladies of the Cross International Ministries an organization that focuses on giving as well as helping the needy, she is the chairperson of the board. Mrs. Lamptey is a widow blessed with three children. Number 3. Kate Corti Papafio The third richest woman in Ghana is the first cable manufacturer in the eco oz sub regions. Not just that. Kate Corti Papafio is also the leading producer of electrical cables in Ghana. Kate Corti has an estimated net worth of $250 million. The CEO of Reroy Group of Companies founded in 1992 which include Reroy Energy Limited and Reroy Cables Limited is among the most powerful women in the country. The company has a strong presence in the West African sub-region, where it provides products and services to the private sector general consumers and utilities throughout the region. Number 2. Teresa Opongbiko On the second position of the richest women in Ghana is Teresa Opongbiko. The CEO of Mane Group has an estimated net worth of $420 million. The Mane Group is 100% Ghanaian real estate development holding company, involved in developing the commercial and residential property. In fact, the company is the second largest in the industry. It was established 18 years ago and has risen to the ranks to be listed among the top 20 companies in the country. Her group of companies includes Mane Paradise, a three-star hotel resort, Mane Housing, a real estate development firm, Mane Construction a civil engineering company and lastly, the Mane Towers. Number 1. Patricia Poku Diaby ranks as the richest woman in Ghana with an estimated net worth of $720 million. She also ranks as the 8th richest person in Ghana today. She is the CEO and founder of Plot Enterprise Group in Ivory Coast and Ghana which is a Ghanaian cocoa processing company. Previously worked in the family business before venturing out to start her own company. The company has a state-of-the-art grinding facility located in Takaradi, which is currently valued at $90 million and processes 32,000 metric tons of cocoa annually into liquor, butter, and cake. This brings to the end of today's video and thanks for watching. And make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you like to get similar videos like this.